Welcome to another Math and Man episode where today you are doomed because you have two quadratic word problems. A garden measuring 12 meters by 16 meters is to have a pedestrian pathway installed all around it. You want to treat these pedestrians right. Increasing the total area to 285 square meters. What will be the width of that pathway? First thing you are going to want to do is draw a diagram for yourself so you can visualize what this looks like and what it's talking about. So pause the video, try to draw a diagram and see if it matches up with mine. Hopefully your diagram looks something like this. So this is my garden that they say the length is 12 and the width is 16, uh, 12 by 16 meters. And it says that there's a pathway all around it. And that's what the word problem is about. We're trying to find the width. And we're just going to call that X of this pathway. So X represents the width of the pathway. They also give us another important information right here saying that the overall area is 285 square meters. Seeing that this is a rectangle, to find the area of a rectangle, you just do length times width to get the area. So I first need to find the total length of this overall rectangle. And the length is right here. If you really observe the length, it's made out of this 12 and two pieces of x, because this is x long, x meters long. So if I know that that's x meters long, and the bottom is also x meters long, and this is 12, then I can call this total length 2x coming from these two x's plus 12. So we're going to put that in parentheses like that. The same logic can be done to find the width. So this is 16. And as you can see, two pieces with the 16, two pieces of x with this 16 makes up the total width, 2x plus 16. Now that you have a length and width, and we also have an area, all we have to do is substitute our length and width with this area formula. So what is my length? So we just said that that was 2x plus 12. And what is my width? We just said that that was 2x plus 16 equals my area. My area is 285. If you take a look at what you just wrote, it's an equation for x. And once you solve for x, then we have solved the word problem. So first thing you're going to want to do, if you look at that, is if you were thinking distribute, then you are correct. Just distribute out these binomials. Uh, 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. 2x times 16 is a positive 32x. Uh, 12 times 2x, I like to write it under this when they're like terms. 24x and 12 times 16, which is 192, positive 192. And all of that equals 285. Let's clean that up a little bit so we have a trinomial. 4x squared. These I just combine like terms, and that's why I like to write them up and down because it's easier to add. So that's 6 and that's 5. 56x uh, plus 192 equals 285. I really don't want to sit here and factor it. it. This is a quadratic equation. So my last resort when I don't want to factor, let's just put it in the quadratic formula. It's not in standard form yet. So you're going to want to equal it to 0 by subtracting 285 on both sides. And what do you get from there? Now you got 4x squared plus 56x minus 93 equals 0. Now I know my a is 4, my b is 56, and my c is negative 93. You can put that into the quadratic formula. You don't want to sit there and factor that. It's, I think it's easier to use the quadratic formula. 
And if you don't know how to use that, I have a video that you can look up in my channel. But it will look something like this. And you'll have two answers. One will be 3 halves and one will be negative 31 over 2. This answer doesn't make sense because you can't have a negative width. So in the end, your answer is 3 halves.